Welcome everybody to another episode of Metal Mastermind. Today we're going to talk about something that I'm really a big fan of. This plugin that, well, <laughs> it's a real, it's actually an emulation of a hardware unit, right? A lot of these plugins, they like to do that. This hardware unit I've used so many times in the studio. It's known as the Empirical Labs Distressor. Very popular on vocals, on drums especially. I really love to use that nuke feature when it comes to the drums. But more importantly, this is a compressor that has a lot of multi-functionality. And when I say that, I mean, it has a lot of versatility. This can be used on almost anything that you throw at it. Whether you want to smooth something out or you want to give it a lot of more uh, aggressiveness, the Distressor is by far one of the most go-to units I've ever used in the studio. Now, when we go into our DAW here, I have two different types of Distressor emulations. One is from Universal Audio, which is on the top right, and it literally says Distressor because <laughs> this was actually licensed to Universal Audio as a pretty accurate representation of the original Distressor. And then on the bottom left, you see the Impressor from Antelope. Now, Antelope, as I've stated in many videos, likes to put their own twist on certain types of emulations. And this is no different. Hence the name Impressor, not Distressor. <laughs> I always find these, uh, these terms to be kind of funny in, in some way. But anyway, these uh, two, I've, I've taken a listen to this two, and uh, I've had my own sort of thoughts about it. But today is a day for comparing plugins. So let's get into it. The first thing that I want to show you here is, of course, our uh, typical uh, backing track that I always play here, which is the Metal Mastermind uh, theme song. Uh, so let's take a listen to that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cycle through the Distressor and the Impressor. Um, I should note that um, some of the versatility does come from uh, the ability to use an opto or opto-like version of this Distressor. That's where you kind of see it over in the 10 to 1 ratios. Uh, optos are very good uh, for creating very smooth compression. They usually have a slow attack and a slow release. Um, whereas the other ones are a lot more fast uh, acting. And that nuke feature, yeah, that's pretty much a, a super limiter. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a, take a listen to the original track. Then what I'll do is I will play the track over with the distressor. And then I will play it over again with the impressor. And then we'll start talking about it. Here we go. This is the original. Okay, so this track sounds like it's um, mixed, but, you know, maybe in this instance we're kind of doing a little bit of mastering, right? We want to give a little bit more thickness and punch, right? We love that in metal, right? So with the Distressor, let's take a listen to just implementing this. Right now, I'm going to do some pretty deep compression. Um, I've got the input allocated to just over the five. The attack is right around five as well. The release and is all of these I haven't really touched that much, but I put a little bit more on the output just to give a little bit more volume. Um, so the gain reduction should be somewhat around 10, right? So let's take a look. We got a six to one ratio on this puppy uh, with no other detectors, just plain old compression. Let's just see what that sounds like. Here we go. This is the distressor. Hey, there's that pumping effect that I like. <laughs> Just kidding. So this is quite thick, right? And obviously, let's bypass the entire uh, output of that. You know, we're, we've got a lot of pumping going on. But the idea is I want to see how much I'm pushing 
on this distressor. The distressor has a lot of flavor when you do that. Um, so let's do the same thing. Let's run it through the impressor. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle between the two so that you can hear what is the difference between the distressor and the impressor. But so far, I'm liking what I'm hearing. So let's go over to the impressor. Hey, you know, oddly enough, I didn't hear as much pumping in this one, but I heard as much thickness, maybe even better thickness, but let's compare side by side, right? Let's see what these two stack up, how they stack up against each other back to back, right? So I'm going to go listen once again to the impressor, then go to the distressor, and then I'll go back. Here we go. Let's just do it one more time. Interesting. Ooh, okay, so one thing is I want to note here that the input on my impressor is at five, attack is at five, release is at five, the output is at five. I haven't touched anything. And you can already see that the impressor on a gain stage level is more aggressive. So I have to dial back the gain on the impressor versus the original distressor. I'm trying to hit the same gain reduction values. But what I'm hearing is that the impressor has a less pumping effect with similar gain reduction. Isn't that amazing? So I'm also hearing more of a retention of that mid-range in the center of the mix and I'm hearing more of that buffiness like burly come really on the sides with the original distressor so what are my final thoughts here well I think that the impressor is cleaner it's cleaner but it still retains a lot of that big bottom end which is what I loved about the Distressor in the first place. The original Distressor has a little bit of more of a pumping effect, so you might be interested, especially when doing like sidechain, to get more of that going. But I think for me, I'd probably be using a little bit more of that Impressor. That Impressor is really kind of pretty sweet, and I love the fact that I can have a lot of that compressing um, effect, but without a lot of that pumping result. Um, just great work on Antelope on this one. Anyway, that's my conclusion. Let me know in the comments sections below what you think. And don't forget that you can also go to metalmastermind.com slash join. And then you'll find our free guide to the quick setup to your ultimate home studio. So, that and more on MetalMastermind.com. I'm Ken Candelis, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.